Hey everyone, welcome back to the Viascoin YouTube channel. I'm here with Tails, and today we're going to be talking about mining specific graphics cards versus a normal graphics card. Normal, mining, pros, cons, and let's get to it. Everyone should already know what a normal graphics card is. You're probably looking at that and being like, wow, I could really own some noobs on Fortnite with that thing. But what about a mining specific graphics card? What, we, what I have behind me is the Zotac P102-100. It is a five gigabyte card built specifically for mining. You notice you look at it, there's no fans on it. There's no connections. You can't get video out of it. All that thing does is mine. If you're familiar with an ASIC miner, an applica application specific integrated circuit, like all of the miners that Bitmain creates, then you'll know that these miners serve one purpose and one purpose only, and that is to mine a specific cryptocurrency slash algorithm. So what can these do? That's it. All they can do is mine. They serve no other purpose, and for that, the resale value is awful before i go any further i do want to say thank you to luke of blockbrook technology for sending me this mining specific gpu without him this wouldn't even be possible he is a reseller of it and you can check out that link below in the video description the only way to really utilize these mining specific graphics cards because they have no fans is to either do some kind of bootleg setup where you basically just sit a fan on it looks ugly not my kind of thing not safe to the point you could damage the card or utilize an enclosed GPU setup like this Octominer build that is packed with Frontier GPUs for mining, which was really weird. The Frontier GPU was originally toted for like a workstation card and has been completely rebranded on the top of their list to be a blockchain card. It's just like that, that card is just kind of like failed at everything, but that's a whole other story. I'm getting a little off topic. The P102-100 behind me is really just a stripped down 1080 with actually less internal memory. And with advancements or releases of semi open source stuff like the enlargement pill, then you've got 1080s that are gonna be hitting similar numbers. Granted, this took place a little bit after the fact and these cards were released earlier this year. When that happened, they were selling between like 800 to like 1200 bucks. It was pretty insane. Right now on the site, it's listed at 800 bucks. If you go on eBay, like you can't really even find these. These are the kind of cards that are sold in bulk to bigger farm operations, not the person who's going to quickly panic set, pa panic, and go run to eBay and sell their mining rig. So that's why you'll see less of them. But there is one report listed in the description below for a citation is that they sold over 100,000 of the P106, which is basically just a stripped down 1060 in just March. So they're definitely moving these. Whether or not they're just they were dumping their old stock under a mining version when there was still a pretty good mining craze going on, or well, I mean that's it. That's <laughs> that's that's what happened. Let's not. We don't need to lie about it. That's that's what they did. All of this talk, but what is the actual performance of the P102 100 when it comes to mining? Pushing 47 mega hash on Ethereum, aka Dagger Hashimoto, and then 660 souls on Equihash, which is now a ASIC dominated algorithm, so it doesn't exactly matter, and almost 900 hashes on Kryptonite V7. The TDP or total power draw on this card is rated at 250 watts, but you'll be using much, much less than that once you actually tune your card more towards like 125 watts. Ultimately, even though this review probably seems kind of negative, I truly think that these mining specific cards or a mining specific GPU absolutely has a place. But I don't think that it should be a stripped down card unless the savings are huge. Because you're losing all the resale value, you could hop on eBay and sell that thing pretty much instantly. Granted, GPU prices are going down, but you're still going to get a good dollar value for that. These kind of cards, they don't come in any kind of retail packaging. They don't have any fans. They don't look good. They, you can't get display out of them. They serve no purpose other than mining, and they're a little bit more difficult to work with because you have to get video out somewhere else or remote into the desktop. So. I'm disappointed that there's not a bigger focus on this to provide a real nice option that's a re at a reduced cost and improved performance. That's how you could really split the market and not have so many angry gamers because next time Bitcoin booms and it's in at $20,000 again, 
graphics cards are going to be in short supply yet again it's a cycle everything is just cyclical here i think that mining specific graphics cards absolutely have a purpose and a place but when they're stripped down like this and they hardly offer a benefit and they carry a high price tag it just kind of seems to resemble an asic miner to me in every single fashion so before during and after i'm going to continue to buy normal graphics cards like that so that i will have easy warranty claims easy re resale and above all my mining rig is going to look cool and i can always pull a card off to get some gaming in with crypto slowing down i've actually been able to start gaming a little bit again but who knows what i do know is that you need to hit that subscribe button smash a thumbs up on this video and leave a comment below